Start building this business. What is the first most important thing for you to do? Okay, because everybody start doing something for a reason. We do this because we want to achieve this, right? So nobody will tell you that they build their business because they have nothing much to do. So it is about identifying your why. What is your why? Why do you want to build this business? Okay, for before I start talking about identifying your why let me tell you about my experience so when i graduated many many years back i worked in a slimming center okay so in a slimming center i'm a consultant so what do i need to do i need to sell a slimming package to the customers that walk into the center and what what do we do so we are trained to know that person, besides from asking their name, uh, their family members, and uh, uh, what job do they do, we ask about what is their reason. Why do you, what makes you decided to come into a slimming center today? So they will tell us a lot of reasons, like such as I always accompany my daughter to swimming lessons, but unfortunately, I could not be present with her inside the pool to learn swimming together. So there are people that tell me that um, their children start to complain that they are a little bit overweight, they are not active enough, so they wanted to do something for their children. So there is always a reason. And why, why, what is the reason that we are trained to get this information out from the customer? It is because we want to know what is their reason, what is their why. So whenever they along their journey of slimming, and, and as you know, a slimming journey is not a easy peasy journey. You need sacrifices, you need to do exercise, you need to control a little bit on your food intake. So you need a six sacrifices here and there. And there might be challenges here and there as well. And that is why when we know their why, they are about to give up or they face any challenges, we will remind them what is the reason you are here. And that makes them continue to do that, what they want to do and head towards their goal. And it is the same in building new image business as well. Why is a driving force? It drives you to continue doing the things that you need to do to grow your business. So if you have not uh, really find a real reason why you want to build this business, I will encourage you to ask yourself these few, few questions, okay? Because a why will make you to drive action, okay? It will drive action. It will make you continue to work accordingly to your action plan. So ask yourself, what is the income on a monthly basis six months from now will make a difference in your life? So what is that number that you want? It can be 1,000, it can be 2,000, or it can be even 500. So what this amount of money can do for you in your life? And ask yourself, why is it important for you? And also, how will it change your life? So I would want to bring you back to a lot of nice stories that we hear last week from our one-star bronze executive, uh, Marnie. Okay? Marnie, for the... After building her business for four or five years, she finally find her real why, why she wants to build the business. That is, she wants to be able to provide a monthly hour allowance to her mother so her mother do not need to work anymore. So why is this important to her? Because she wants to be able to do her responsibility as a children and give the mother a comfortable uh, life moving forward. And... I believe you know why you want to build this business. If you have not found it yet, I encourage you to ask these few questions for you after this session so you will find your why. And you choose new image as a platform for additional income. And here, I believe that you know that the products are wonderful. The products makes you believe in this business. And from the people around you, your upline and the whole team that make you believe that 
new image can help you achieve your goal and you can earn stable income. And you are definitely right. We are talking about stable income every month from new image. So how can you make sure that you earn stable income every month? It is by utilizing our most important tool that is authorship. So that will go that will lead us to the next step. Next step is to sign up authorship because you want to build a long-term business. You want to build a stable business with new image. So signing up authorship will make you to become a smart consumer yourself because we always tell customer authorship is uh, authorship in new image is the best program ever because you need to commit to six months and the seventh month or the uh, order is going to be free. It's going to be convenient. You tell them about you place order one time and they will deliver it to your doorstep every month. And more saving, you get up to 31% discount compared to the retail price. And you will you need to be uh you need to be an authorship customer yourself before you are able to deliver that message in a convincing manner and educate others to be smart consumer as well. So this is the reason why authorship is very important. If you master the skills of uh, introducing authorship, your six your business is going to be unstoppable and your income will be a very stable income every month. And it also ensure that you will never run out with your product. You are building a business. You need extra product uh, products at home. You do not want your retail customer to come to you and ask for products and you tell them you do not have products. You have, you have to wait until I order, then I will ship your products to you. So that cannot happen. Make sure, authorship will make sure that you never run out of your product. And like I uh, reiterate a few times just now, signing up authorship will help you to build a stable monthly residual income. You do not need to wait until you place order or your supervisor's place order for you to be able to see increase in your green bar. So whenever your customer uh, sign up authorship program, you will be able to monitor and see the increase of your volume day by day. So even when you go holiday, you come back, your business is still running. So that is the beautiful part of uh, authorship that as a supervisor, you need to enjoy that for you to be able to uh, share about it. And as a supervisor, I believe at least you have at home with you 28 cans of products. Am I right? Okay, so this day at cans of product, first thing first, the products is for yourself. You are going to experience the product. You are going to use the products. So you will be able to share the products. And at the same time, you will also have some balance of product that you want to uh, start sharing with people. And how do you make sure that you are able to sell through the products that you have on hand? It is by writing down your contact list, okay? So now I will want to check with all of you here, how many of you really take an effort to write down your contact list in a book? So there's a questions here. Can you uh, just exercise your hand and let me know, do you have a book that you write down? the names of your customers. Okay, so it seems like I would say more than half of you has a contact book and yeah, more than half has contact book. And if you still do not have your contact book yet, I will encourage you to get one, start listing down the names. and. A lot of people, whenever we talk about contact list, they will be thinking about, oh, I have 1,000 friends in my Facebook. I have 500 names in my phone. But whatever that is not recorded down into your contact book, it is not your contact list. It is only data. Okay, so you have to put it down. And I believe that all of you have uh, heard many times, whatever gets recorded will get done. Because when we write names in the contact book, what are we going to do about with the names? So you will 
make connection with the people. You will build relationship with the people. All right. So this is the purpose that you uh, that makes you need to list down all the people that you know. So whenever I say about list down contact list, you list down every names that you know. You don't choose. You don't think okay that these people needs to slim down. This pe person cannot afford. Uh, the product. So maybe this person is not interested. So don't think about them. Just write down all the names that you know in your contact list. So this is the starting point. So whenever you have your contact list, you will have a list of people that you can share your product with. And whenever, when you are doing this business, right, it is about understand the needs of others. Okay. It is being interested in other people, not being interested in yourself. We don't go out there and talk about ourselves. We want to know about uh, the people in your contact list, the names in your contact list. So what do we want to know about them? We want to know more about them so that we know how our product can help them improve their, their life. And we want to know how our product can help them to have better health. And we want to know how the business opportunity of new image can help them to have additional income and subsequently live a better life. So what we want to know about them is this F-O-R-M. So F stands for family. Whenever you make connection with people in your contact list, ask questions that is related to their family. Then you will get details whether they are married, the children, what is the condition of the children, the grandchildren, and everybody. And second thing is their occupation. So when, when we talk about our job, right, people most of the time will tell you what they dislike about their job. All right. Maybe there are people who will tell you about what they like as well. As, as and when they tell you about their dislike, you can tell them about how you like your occupation, you like your job. So that is how you create a curiosity for them to want to know more about your business. What are you doing? By, in that, by not like telling them, okay, I am a business builder of new image. You don't have to do that. You tell them what you like about it. You like to talk to different people every day. You like to help people solve their problem and things like that. It will make them curious about what you do. And at the same time, we also want to know what, do they do for recreation? Whenever they have free time, what do they do? Do they bring their kids out uh, to the park? Or they love to indulge themselves in some massages or doing manicure, things like that. And what, what do they do? So from there, we will able to gauge what is what what is what products do we have that could match into their lifestyle? Or this person is a very athletic person. They do yoga, they go jogging, things like that. And we have tons of products that can help them to have better stamina. All right. And last but not least, we want to know what motivates them as well. What is their dream in their life? And we also want to know about their financial situation. Whenever we know about their finance, financial situation, you will know how to introduce uh, additional income to them. Okay, and their dreams, help them to achieve their dreams. There's, there's a lot of people, like I always tell many business builders that every everybody has a dream, but it is also sad to know that a lot of people they do not dare to dream because they know they do not have the resources to achieve their dreams. And do you have a solution for them? Yes, you do have. We have new image business platform to help them achieve their dreams. So always be interested uh, about people so that you will find a chance how to introduce new image product and business opportunity to them.